Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to review of Maleus Maleficarium, the debut album by the band Pestilence. Today we're celebrating the 35th anniversary of the record, so decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. I've already reviewed the record's first, so go check it out. There I talk about how I found out about this band. Basically, my siblings showed me their music when I was like 3 or 4 years old. The lineup for this record is Martin on the vocals, he's currently the vocalist of Asphyx, Patrick on guitar and bass, He's the mastermind behind this project. We've got also Randy, who only played guitar on this record, Marco on the drums, and Kyle Trapp is the producer and he also played on the synthesizer on one of the tracks. The production here is great for its time, I truly enjoy it, it's tight, love the sound of the drums, the bass, the guitars and the vocals. Message is diverse. The songs are mostly about anti-religious stuff, medicine, death, suffering metaphysics, stuff like that. Structure of the tracks is mostly advanced, usually we have like 2 or 3 segments that do repeat and from 3 to 5 segments that only happen once in the entire song. The music could be described as a mix of thrash metal and death metal. The record starts with the title song and the first thing you're going to notice about it is the drumming, it's there for the entire record. The drummer's playing is fantastic, I love the groove, the speed, the precision, just everything. Next is the bass, it's audible and it mostly follows the guitars but we have also lots of moments where the bass is playing his own thing, which I truly enjoy. Then we have the guitar work and it's mostly fantastic, love the thrashy, fast guitar riffs but also more deafy and groovy ones, but when it comes to the guitars, it depends on the segment, because usually most of the songs sound fantastic when it comes to the guitar riffs, but sometimes we get these very fillerish sounding guitars, you know, that wah wah wah, very generic stuff, but most of it is great. Finally, the vocals by Martin, I love his growling, it's so distinct, you always know that it's him. This opening song, Maleus Maleficarium Slash Anthropomorphia, is one of the highlights of this record, I love the intro, then the more heavier stuff, the guitar riffs, the guitar solos especially are my favorite part of this record because all of them sound great. The vocals also slap, same as the drumming. There's one segment here that I don't particularly enjoy but everything else is on point. 9 out of 10. I could say the exact same thing about the next song, Parasite. This one is also fantastic but there's one moment before the end where I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. But the rest of the song, especially the intro, slaps. 8 out of 10. Subordinate to the domination. This song, I guess, is probably the most technical one because it has lots of changes. Love the main guitar riff, the vocals, the atmosphere of this one. The guitar solos are my favorite. 8 out of 10. Extreme Action has much more basic structure. It's also only 19 seconds long. It's fast, it's straight to the point. It's a good song, but to me personally, it's the weakest one. 7 out of 10, Commandments, now this one slaps, I love the speed and brutality of this one, it also had a music video I think, and what else can I say, it's a great song, it doesn't stand out from the rest, but it's also quite fun to listen to. 8 out of 10, Chemotherapy, another cool song, yet again, nothing special about this one, most of the stuff here is fantastic, 2 segments not for me. This one was also re-recorded I think in 2009 and that version is interesting, that's for sure. 8 out of 10, Bacterial Surgery, now this one kinda similar to the previous song, yet again the intro fantastic, the middle part also great, some of the parts in between not for me, but overall great track. 8 out of 10, Cycle of Existence, now this is one of the highlights of this record, I love the main guitar riff, the guitar solos, the vocals, the bass lines here, phenomenal. Same with the drumming. 9 out of 10. Osculum Infame is an instrumental piece. Love the synthesizer here. This song is different from everything else on the record. That's why it's so distinct and you remember it. 8 out of 10. And the final track, Systematic Instruction. Now this one is my favorite from the entire record. The main guitar riff just slaps. The speed, the intensity, the energy here. Love the bass lines as well, same as the drumming and the vocals. The only part I don't like is the one before the guitar solo, in the middle. Why is that guitar riff there? It's just so bland and boring. It ruins the song because 
if that part was removed I would be like yeah this is a masterpiece I love re-listening to it but that part in the middle is just like eh, why just why 9 out of 10 to sum it up the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting groupability yeah it's a great record I enjoyed it from beginning to the end it doesn't have any weak songs but it also doesn't have any masterpieces but I do enjoy every song here because every single one of them has something special to offer the highlights here are systematic instruction, anthropomorphia, cycle of existence, osculum infame, bacterial surgery and parasite. I think that this one is a very good debut record and from this point on every next record is just going to be better. Serbia Nursery by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram in the description, I will see you in my other videos. Also consider becoming a member of my channel so I can make you an album review or maybe a Doom MIDI cover. And that's all, bye!